don't suppose you know where we are, Professor. Or when. As it happens, I do, Ace. We've arrived in London. The Festival of Britain, 1951. How can you be sure? I tracked a minor disturbance to this very spot, and I recognised this skylon at once. What about it? So magnificently frivolous. A tower with no other purpose than to be a tower. A symbol to mark the end of post-war austerity and the hope of future prosperity. You what? England's just recovering from the battering she had in the war. We won, didn't we? Our finest hour and all that. People never stopped going on about it. Only just. The whole country was exhausted. Now they're just getting over it, so they decided to kick their heels up a bit and have a festival. Some festival? It's all concrete. Remember, you're British, Ace. You're supposed to like taking your pleasures, sadly. Professor? What? This is England and we won the war. Why is there a swastika flag on that tower? Oh. Oh dear. Is she here? Who? Ishtar, the time worm, whatever she calls herself. According to the time path indicator, apparently not. We're supposed to be chasing her. If we overshot, or undershot, it's easily done, nobody's perfect. What's this? Restored to his rightful throne, His Majesty King Edward VIII, accompanied by Her Royal Highness, signs the Treaty of Accord, formally establishing Great Britain as a protectorate of the German Empire. This is all wrong, Ace. There's been temporal interference on a massive scale. I never trusted those Winces. A vain and silly man and a German sympathizer from his early youth. Gave poor Winston no end of trouble. So now he's got his throne back. Does it even matter? A king is a very important symbol, and what matters is what he symbolizes. This bloke Mosley's doing well. Look. Prime Minister Mosley addresses occupied Britain's first national socialist parliament. Sir Oswald Mosley, founder of the British Union of Fascists. They interned him when the war started. Let him go when it was over. After that, he just sort of fizzled out. Not here, he didn't. He seems to be top of the heap. It's all wrong. Maybe it's a joke. Medical students or something. You know, like chamber bots on church spires. And all these statues? Another joke? You know, what if Hitler won and all that? People write books. Nice try, Ace. But it's all too horribly real, I'm afraid. Is it the Time Worm? Doesn't feel like her style. Who, then? Well, there was that meddling monk, of course. And there were others. A bit cheerful now the rain's stopped. I'm hungry. There's a stall over there. How about a cuppa and a bun? How can you think of food at a time like this? Morning, lady and gent. What can I do you for? Two teas and two currant buns, please. Help yourself a sugar substitute. That'll be a tanner. What? A tanner, sixpence, teas, tuppence, buns a Benny. Uh, let me. A bob and a tanner change. Thank you. I <coughs> know. Oh, tea tastes like cat piss and the buns old socks. Essence? What isn't these days? Not that I'm complaining, mind you. What's er stats? Imitation. Substitute. Fike, fike tea, fike flour and... Oh, God, here's trouble. Morning, boys. What'll it be? Two cuppers. And a pound out the till. Ah, oh, cat piss. Right you are, I was just saying so. Tell you what, I'll make you a fresh pot, hot and strong. How about that? On the house. Oi you, we need some help. And what seems to be the trouble here? It's those two. They've been trying to get money off this guy. Did you notice those armbands? Why does it that matter? A British free call, miss. So does that mean that they can do what they like? That's exactly what it means. 
They have authority from the Third Reich, superseding that of the civilian police in all cases. All right, now how about that pound up the till? Two pounds. Better make it a fiver. Two fivers. Now come on, lads. Fair's fair. A joke's a joke, and you're welcome to tea, but... Funny sort of name, Gold. Wouldn't be short for Goldstein, would it? And over the cash, you lousy kike. Or we'll smash up the store, and you as well. And tell what's left to the Racial Affairs Bureau. The heis on sea! The heis on sea, du Kampf! Uh... Sei still! Amen? Look, I'm sorry, we don't speak German. So, perhaps it is as well. The German language would be polluted by the lips of such scum. Your names and your units stand to your attention when you address me! Sir D. Harris. George Brady, London Unit 4. British Free Corps. So, and what are your standing orders in regards to this festival? Just keep an eye on things. Watch out for the subversive behaviour. Signs of disorder. Exactly. And did you see any sign of disorder here? Apart from that which you have created yourselves! You will return to your unit. You will report to your superior and place yourselves under arrest on charges of attempted extortion. Now, move! Answer double! Eins, zwei! Eins, zwei! I'm sorry this had to happen. They won't trouble you again. No trouble, sir. I don't want to make trouble. Good lads, I'm sure. Just harmless fun. Look, it's alright. There's no need to be frightened of us. Come on, Ace. Where are we going now? Back to the TARDIS. We're leaving. I'm not sure. I need to think, and I can't do it out here. Why not? Fear. Fear and evil. Can't you feel it, Ace? It's in the air. Like poison. He ordered you to what? To come straight back here. And put ourselves under arrest. On what authority? You're trying to extort money, of course. No, sir. But you committed a far worse crime than just extortion. By allowing yourselves to be made fools of. Did this man identify himself? Did he show any papers? If you'd heard him, sir, he was someone all right. He was bluffing. And who do you think would have the nerve for a bluff like that? A member of the resistance. Almost certainly a very senior member. Exactly the sort of man we were stationed here to catch. And you let him get away! Go back to the barracks and report to the quartermaster. You're on permanent fatigues in the toilet block for the rest of the week. Wait! What's up, Professor? Shh! Just listen. When I say run, run. RUN! Quick! Before the current gets him! Uh, uh, no! Thought you'd got him. So did I. I thought he was trying to grip my hand, but he was giving me this folder. Shouldn't we go after him? No point. He died as he handed me that folder. I saw the light go out of his eyes. Go there! Halt! Halt or we fire! Run! What do we do now, Professor? Well, those people are between us and the TARDIS. We'll have to wait until they move on, then try to work our way behind them. Meanwhile, I suggest we join the happy throng for a bit. You couldn't call this a lot of throng, exactly, could you? And they don't seem all that happy, either. You wouldn't look so happy either after ten years under the Nazis. Come on, let's take a look at the Dome of Discovery. This is terrible. I thought you liked this kind of stuff. Don't you see what's happening? The Nazis were doing pioneering work in rocketry by the end of the war. The Allies had nothing nearly so advanced, and if their armies hadn't overrun the missile sites, Hitler might have won. Well, he did win, didn't he? In this timeline, at least. They were working on atomic energy, too. Think of it, Ace. A massive atomic research program, driven by the ambitions of a war-mad megalomaniac dictator, with an unlimited supply of slave labor and the resources of half the world at his command. It's madness. It's got to be stopped. What we're seeing here are the effects of interference. I've got to work my way back to the causes, find out who interfered and when and why. And put things back the way they were. If I can. 
Interference with an established time stream is always incredibly dangerous. And interfering on interference could be catastrophic. We'd better have another go at getting back to the TARDIS. With any luck, that patrol will have moved on by now. Hang on a minute. Aren't we forgetting something? What? Well, we saw a murder just now. So? Ought we do something about it? Report it to the authorities, at least. And answer all the usual boring questions? Who are you? Where do you come from? Why haven't you got any identification papers? And why are you wearing those funny clothes? Still doesn't seem right ignoring someone's death. I wonder who he was, why he was killed. If that fault is anything to go on, he was a Nazi official. Presumably he was killed by some kind of resistance movement, or perhaps political rivals. He was still alive. I've no time to worry about one little murder. The crime I'm concerned with now involves millions, billions of lives. Lieutenant Hemmings. It is Lieutenant Hemmings, isn't it? Yes. Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? Name of Arnold? I helped you out with the black market case last month. Do you now? I was just thinking about you. Me, sir? Well, you or someone like you. You've turned in quite a few of your fellow citizens in your time. I try to do my duty by the Reich. And turn a profit in the process. You pocketed some nice little rewards, haven't you? How would you like to earn another one? There's a man I'm looking for. Apparently there's a girl with him. I've just seen them, Lieutenant. When? Where? They were in the Dome of Discovery, talking treason. I was coming to look for you. Cover all the entrances. We're moving in. Aren't you even curious? No, not really. Are you? I suppose I am. We saw him die, and we don't even know who he was. That's them. They're the ones. Oh dear. They were talking against the glorious Reich, against the Fuhrer himself. This man said he was a madman and he had to be stopped. Is it true? Absolute rubbish! What I actually said was that anyone who opposed the Glorious Reich was a madman! You attacked two of my men earlier, by the coffee store. Impersonating a party official. I impersonated no one! Ask them! They were committing a crime, and I simply did my duty as a citizen. No, it won't do, you know. It's just not convincing. It's our word against theirs, and why believe this man rather than us? Well, he's one of my regular informants, you see. Quite a valuable little Judas, aren't you, Mr. Arnold? I'm quite willing to swear the usual deposition of accusation. I'll get my reward all right, won't I? Yes, of course. Just as soon as they've confessed and been executed. How long is that likely to be? Tomorrow, I should think. We're not too busy just now. I'm Lieutenant Hemmings of the British Free Corps. You are under arrest on charges of treason against the Reich. Have you anything to say? We were only talking. It's a free country, isn't it? No, I'm afraid it's not. Take them away. Salvoy Hotel. Nothing but the best for the treacherous. What are they going to do to us, Professor? Why is nothing happening? Nothing's supposed to happen. This is stage one. They just leave us alone to work ourselves into a seat of fear, terror, and apprehension. Ah, right. Why are they all British? If the Nazis won, shouldn't they be all German? They're all BFK, British Free Corps. It started with the war. They used to go round the camps, trying to get prisoners to change sides. Get any takers? Hardly any. But in this reality, England lost the war ten years ago. Those lads have grown up under this regime. Offer people extra pay, rations, and a chance to push around fellow citizens. And you'll always get a few takers. I suppose you will. Ah, stage two. You are Jewish Bolshevik traitors, and the game is up. Your associates have been rounded up and made full confessions to this fact, only by fully confessing your own filthy crimes and throwing yourselves on the mercy of the all-powerful Reich can you hope to save your miserable lives. Are you going to confess? Well, what do you say? Not bad. Quite good, actually. Well stained volume, and I like the foam on the lips. I'd say... Mm, six out of ten. Mind you, to be fair, it's hard to do really good on Schnauzen when you're working in English. Germans are much better language for screaming at people. Herr Ross! Schweinehund! Ross! Ross! When can we expect stage three? Any minute now. Right on schedule. The terrifying noise is off. 
This is already getting steadily nastier. What's stage four? Ah, now stage four. Properly done, it can be very artistic. <laughs> Got you too, did they? What happened? They picked me up with the rest of our group. Someone must have talked. I don't know you, do I? Which lot are you with? I want our own. Are you with Colonel Gubbins' people? Ah, suit yourself. But if I were you, I'd talk. We all get what I did. I held out as long as I could, but I told them in the end. It's just for their records. They know it all anyway. Names, places, the lot. Like I said, someone's already talked. Why suffer for nothing? Can't we do something for him? No more than a five out of ten, old chap. The black eye and the bruises are good, but that blood's quite the wrong colour. Far too bright. And there were too many questions. You should have spun us more of a yarn, gained our confidence first. Uh, this is stage four, Ace. The good old beaten up fellow prisoner trick. That's no good, they tumbled. I imagine you think you're pretty clever. Well, let me tell you something. You'll be called up for intensive interrogation pretty soon. Unless you tell us exactly what we want to know, you'll end up looking like him. The veneer of civilized charm seems to be wearing a bit thin. He's right though, isn't he? All this war of nerves business is just the beginning. They'll start the real rough stuff soon. Then I suppose we better escape. Just like that? Just like that. Now on no account try this at home, Ace. Now we just take this light bulb, turn off the light, place this coin here, and presto. Yes? What do you want? Thought he wouldn't be far away. <laughs> this way, Ace! And put that thing away! This isn't the OK Corral! Festival! Schnell! What do you think you're doing, Professor? In an authoritarian society, people do tend to obey the voice of authority. You're taking an awful chance. Come on, Ace, to the TARDIS. Agly is the word I think, Ace. Come again, Professor? Agly. But the best laid plans of mice and men go awry, if you remember. But it's the TARDIS that's gone. Where is it? Well, it isn't here, so someone's moved it. So all we need to know is who and where to. How do we discover that? It's called asking someone. <clears throat> uh, been here long, mate? Who wants to know? A festival admin. A exhibit gone missing. A police box of the future. Big blue job, seen it? They took it away. Who did? Lots of them free court lads came with a lorry. Hoisted it on board and made off. Another cock-up. Thanks, Pop. I'll sort it out. You want to watch that they don't sort you out? Nasty lot, them. Free court. Still, you don't know about that, don't you? D <clears throat> Do I? Well, they nicked you earlier on, didn't they? Now here you are, large as life, asking all about blue boxes. It was all a misunderstanding. I was helping them with their inquiries. There's a lot of misunderstanding about these days. I know. Somebody misunderstood himself right into the river this morning. That right? I was there. So were you, weren't you? If you fancy a cuppa, try Mar Barker's calf under the arches. Say Pop sent you. We provide a rather decent brub. Good day. What was that all about? I rather think we may have just made contact with the Resistance. He just happened to be standing there. I doubt there's any just happened about it. He was waiting to see if anyone turned up looking for the TARDIS. That stretch of railings he was painting were painted when we were here earlier, and they weren't needing a red, white, and blue repaint either. I saw him when that chap went into the river. I rather think he was the one who stabbed him. I'd almost forgotten him. Reich Inspector General. Sounds important. It was vitally important to him even when he was dying. And he was important enough for the Resistance to assassinate him in the open. It's worth a gamble, and this might just be our ace in the hole, if you'll pardon the expression. Come on! Where to? Free Corps HQ. I hope the car's still waiting. I wish to see the commanding officer immediately. I'm afraid that won't be possible. For your sake, young man, it had better be possible. Or perhaps you fancy a trip to the continent in the Volunteer Labour Corps. Nice healthy outdoor work, you know. I assure you, sir, it really isn't possible. 
General Strasser is just about to leave the hotel on a tour of the festival site. Uh, there he comes now. General Strasser? Yes? I must speak with you immediately. The general is busy. Make an appointment with his office, possibly in a week or two. Immediately, if you please, General. My business is extremely urgent. And the nature of this urgent business? It contains the security of the Reich. I have this folder. My time, of course, is at your disposal, Herr... You may address me as the doctor. Herr Doctor? But I was just about to leave for a tour for the festival site. As a matter of fact, I'm late already. My car went missing. It would not be advisable to visit the festival at present. A hunt is taking place for two dangerous prisoners who have just escaped from your headquarters. Nonsense, Herr Doctor. Prisoners in my custody do not escape. It appears, General, that two prisoners were brought in earlier by Lieutenant Hemmings. He has taken a detachment to the site in order to search for them. Why was I not told? It appears, Herr Doctor, that you are rather better informed about the events in my headquarters than I am myself. It is my business to be well informed. Send left-handed Hemmings to me the moment he returns. If you will be good enough to accompany Herr Doctor, and this young lady... Is my personal assistant. Naturally, gnädiges Fräulein. This is quite an honor. There have been rumors of a distinguished visitor, but I didn't expect the Reich Inspector General. No one expects the Reich Inspector General. Quite so, quite so. Stops dust being swept under the carpet. Are two members bullying a storekeeper and attempting to extort money? Their names were Harris and Brady. Incidents of that kind may seem trivial, but they ferment unrest against the civilization population, which in turn breed resistance. I will check up on the matter immediately. You will understand, Herr Doctor. We have some very fine English officers. Like Hemmings. Oh, we shall come to the lieutenant in a moment. There are far more serious matters to discuss, such as the resistance movement. The resistance scarcely exists. There are no real problem. Indeed. Then it was not the British resistance who attempted to kill me on my arrival. This is shocking. May I inquire? I killed the assassin with his own knife and threw his body in the river. It will emerge in time, no doubt. I am horrified this could happen under my jurisdiction. What would Berlin say? Berlin does not need to know. Not necessarily. I believe the local problems are best solved at local levels if we work together. Indeed, yes. You are a man of great and noble understanding, Herr Doctor. The resources of occupied Britain will be at your command, of course. In what name should your pass be made out? Uh, Schmidt. Herr Doctor Johann Schmidt. And your assistant? Fräulein Dorothy Schmidt, my niece. Naturally. Your pardon, my general. You gave orders that I should report to you immediately on my return? Enter. It's them. Looking for this, Lieutenant? General, you are in great danger. These people are resistance terrorists, no doubt planning your assassination. When I attack the girl, I beg you to throw yourself to the floor and summon assistance. All right. We'd better give the lieutenant his gun back. Permit me to explain, Lieutenant. Part of my mission is to check upon the degree of alertness maintained by the Free Corps. To this end, my assistant and I entered Occupied Britain unofficially and wandered about the festival in such a manner to get ourselves apprehended, which occurred after a considerable amount of time and then only by chance reported to a native informer. Is this true, Lieutenant? It was an informer who summoned us. As for the rest... I conducted further tests of efficiency. We were held with ludicrously inadequate security and subjected to a series of inept psychological tricks. Why did you not produce your credentials? For the sake of the test! Yes, of course, of course. Secrecy is the essence of my work. My true name must be revealed to as few people as possible. So to avoid this, I removed myself and my assistant from the scene, and I suggest that Hemmings here would be attached to my staff. I shall need an aid. This would remove the need for informing others. An excellent idea, Herr Doctor. It shall be done. What are your immediate needs? Suitable accommodations for myself and my assistant. We can discuss research facilities later. See to it, Lieutenant. One of the river suites should be acceptable. They're all occupied. Then evict someone. At your command. May I hope for your company at dinner, Herr Doctor? I fear not. I shall begin work at once, and the less we are seen together, the better. A little something in my room, perhaps. My needs are simple. More champagne, Ace? Or just a little more caviar? Now look here, I don't... Just eat, Ace. Talk later. In there. 
Fire away, Ace! You think our suite's bugged? I'm sure of it. We are honored guests, but that doesn't mean they trust us. We came here after the Time Worm, so what do you think you're doing? Oh, Ace. We follow the time path indicator here and run straight into time tempering. And it's investigating. I suppose so. But why don't we do something about this? Such as? Why don't we get in contact with the Resistance? Oh, no, 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 no. You've seen the state of things that must be put a stop to. Going to the Resistance would cause more interference. So, we're going to get into the BFK, get the TARDIS, and nip it in the bud. Now, here's what I want you to do. Anything? Nothing out of the ordinary, sir. Just a standard cleaner. I can handle that. What now? Your bath's ready. Then I suggest you get some sleep. There are night things in your bedroom. What about you? Sleep is for tortoises. I have to think. I like to have my enemies where I can see them. Oh, which reminds me. Lieutenant Hemmings, report to me at 9am sharp if you please. We have a busy day ahead. Well, how do I look? Ghastly. Really? You're not just saying that. Come in, see! Hail Hitler. Well done, Lieutenant. You have transport available? There is a car and a driver outside. Sehr gut. Your military records, where are they situated? Reich's Museum, in Bloomsbury, Herr Doctor. We shall go there at once. Have the caretaker waiting for us when we arrive. Yes, Herr Doctor. Satisfactory. There now remains the matter of my assistant. No doubt you have been wondering why I found it necessary to bring her with me. Her father was a leading light in the British resistance. He is now undergoing re-education, and she has excellent knowledge of his contacts and associates. She can be invaluable to us in rooting out the last remnants of these criminals. I think the best plan is for me to go directly to the Reich Museum alone, while you deal with her. I'm sorry, Herr Doctor. I'm not clear what you want me to do. Do? My dear Lieutenant, she is a traitor suspected of links to the Resistance. I want you to arrest her and interrogate her. <laughs> 